हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द आर्यन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग क्लासेज ऑफ इंग्लिश आम इज अनिता रावत टूडे इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो इंडिगो पार्ट वन आल बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द लेसन इंडिगो इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट टेकन फ्रॉम द फेमस बुक द लाइफ ऑफ महात्मा गांधी बाई लुई फिशर डियर चिल्ड्रेन यू मस्ट हैव रेड और हर्ड अबाउट चंपारण सत्याग्रह मोमेंट which was related to indigo share croppers of champaran district of bihar this chapter gives us a vivid picture of the same moment which is considered an important historical event and which gave a direction to indian freedom struggle so first of all let me give you a brief introduction of the author louis fisher louis fisher was an american journalist He was born on twenty ninth February eighteen ninety six in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. He died on fifteen January nineteen seventy in Princeton, New Jersey, USA. Some of his famous books are The Life of Mahatma Gandhi, A Week with Gandhi, The Life of Lenin, God That Failed, wherein he contributed one essay, and Men and Politics. This extract indigo has been taken from his book The Life of Mahatma Gandhi. Children, this book is considered as one of the best books written on life of Gandhi ji and the famous movie Gandhi is also based on this book. Louis Fisher won National Book Award for history and biography. Uh see children, this chapter is named as indigo. indigo is a crop i would like to show you a picture of this crop uh, it's a crop which is used to make dye color in hindi we call it neel and sometimes we use it on our white clothes so this lesson is about indigo share croppers of champaran injustice inflicted on them by the british landlords and their fight for justice under the leadership of gandhi ji now let's locate champaran on india's map you can see bihar here and this is the map of bihar here you can see east champaran and west champaran it was in champaran only where this movement took place and succeeded now let's see some pictures of indigo farming and manufacturing from pre independence times you can see pathetic condition of indian peasants working under cruel british landlords i would like to give you a brief history of indigo cultivation here uh, children indigo used to be the chief commercial crop in 18th 19th and early 20th century it was a very profitable cash crop but it needed high amount of water and it left the soil unfertile so naturally local farmers usually opposed its cultivation instead of that they preferred to grow daily need crops such as rice and pulses etc but the british landlords forced poor indian peasants to grow indigo in their fields on one condition or the other being tenants Indian farmers had to follow these orders. Now let's see what happened in Champaran. In Champaran, most of the fertile land was divided into large estates, and these estates were owned by Englishmen. Means these Britishers were the landlords, and Indian farmers were tenants. Means they had taken land from British landlords on rent. uh now these indian farmers were asked to grow indigo in 15% of their land it was compulsory for them and they had to surrender the entire indigo harvest as rent this had been a long term contact between them but meanwhile germany started developing synthetic indigo and naturally the synthetic indigo was very cheap 
so the prices of uh, organic indigo came down very sharply so now these british landlords freed the peasants from sharecropping system and they asked for compensation in terms of money means now they did not want indigo harvest as rent instead they asked these poor peasants to pay the rent in terms of money many peasants did not like this sharecropping system so they easily gave money but when they came to know about synthetic indigo they felt cheated they felt befooled and they wanted their money back but the british landlords were not ready to return their money so to fight against this injustice gandhi ji was invited to champaran where he fought for the rights of these poor peasants on the basis of his principles of truth and non violence and succeeded also this has been very comprehensively described in the chapter children which i'll take up in the next video but here i leave you with some memorable pictures of champaran satyagraha just have a look see the kind of support gandhi ji got from peasants and other people of champaran and it was after this moment only that gandhi ji became a leader of the masses and he earned names like mahatma and bapu so what happened in champaran how gandhi ji helped these poor sharecroppers how this champaran episode paved the way to india's independence we'll see all these in ne the next video till then feel proud to be an indian and always believe on truth and non violence so that's all for today thank you